Continuing on with the CUDA software free worksheet, one step equations, we're going to do numbers 15 through 30. And this will finish up this worksheet. What we're doing is we're solving each equation. So that means we need to isolate the variable to find out what the variable is equal to. So in number 15, we need to isolate the variable v. We have v divided by 8 is equal to 2. In order to do this, we're going to multiply by a positive 8. You can think of that as multiplying by a positive 8 over 1. The 8, so 8 divided by 8, is equal to 1, and v divided by 1 is simply v. But remember, whatever we do to the left, we do to the right. So we're also multiplying by a positive 8 over 1, or simply 8, on the right-hand side. So for 15, we have v is equal to 2 times 8, which is 16. And if you need a more in-depth explanation of what I've done in number 15, go to the previous video and I did out all the work for number 13 to show you how the V becomes isolated if you multiply the denominator's value of 8 over 1. For number 16, we have 16 is equal to K over 11. So we're going to multiply by 11 over 1. So we're multiplying by 11. When we multiply by 11 over 1, we could rewrite this portion as k over 1 times 11 over 11, which we know is k times 1, which is k. So multiplying up by 11 leaves us with k on the right, and 11 times 16 is 176. So k is equal to 176. For number 17, we have negative 15 times x is equal to 0. So we're going to divide by that negative 15. Negative 15 divided by negative 15 is 1, so we're going to have 1 times x, and that's equal to, remember, we divided by negative 15 on the left, so we have to do that to the right. 1 times x is equal to 0 divided by negative 15, which is 0. So x is equal to 0. Number 18, again, we're isolating the variable x. We're going to do that by dividing by a negative 17. Whatever we do to the left, we do to the right. So negative 2 under 4 is also going to be divided by a negative 17. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so that's going to be 1 times x, which is equal to x. And again, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so that's going to be a positive 12, since 204 divided by 17 is 12. Negative 204 divided by negative 17 is 12. 19, 21 is equal to negative 7n. We're going to divide by negative 7 to both sides. 21 divided by negative 7 is going to be negative 3. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 is simply 1, and that will leave us with negative 3 is equal to n. Number 20, we have m divided by 4 is equal to negative 13. What we need to do is multiply each side by 4, or 4 over 1, if you'd like to think of the whole number in fraction form. So m is going to be equal to negative 13 times 4, which is negative 52. Number 21, negative 126 is equal to 14k. Divide both sides by 14. Negative 126 divided by 14 is negative 9, and that's equal to k. Negative 143 is equal to negative 11x. Divide by a negative 11 and divide by a negative 11. Negative 143 divided by negative 11 is 13. Negative 11 divided by negative 11 is 1. So x is equal to 13. Number 23, negative 16 plus x is equal to negative 15. This one is easy to picture just as it's written. In order to get from negative 16 to a negative 15, we're going to the right 
on the number line by one unit. In order to move to the right on the number line, we're just going to simply add a positive one. So you can see that x is going to be positive one. But let's go ahead and do the math. We're going to need to subtract a negative 16, which is the same as adding a positive 16. And whatever we do to the left, we do to the right. That's going to be zero, so x is going to be equal to negative 15 plus 16 is a positive one. For number 24, negative five is equal to a over 18. We're going to multiply both sides by 18. 18 times negative five is negative 90. A over one is a, so negative 90 is equal to a. Number 25, negative 17 equals x minus 15. We could rewrite this as negative 17 equals x plus a negative 15. So when we subtract that negative, we have to add the positive. So we can add 15 to both sides. Negative 17 plus 15 is a negative two. That goes to zero, so we're left with x minus zero. So negative two is equal to x. 26, we have n minus eight is equal to negative 10. So we're going to add eight to both sides and be left with n is equal to negative two. 27, we have v divided by seven is equal to eight. We're going to multiply both sides by seven over one, which is seven. And that's going to leave us with v over one, which is v is equal to eight times seven, which is 56. So the variable v is equal to 56. Let's go ahead and plug that in to double check. So we're taking this 56 and plugging it in for the value v. That'll leave us with 56 over seven. 56 divided by seven indeed equals eight. 28, we have a plus 11 is equal to 20. We're going to subtract a positive 11 from both sides. Since 11 minus 11 is zero, that will leave us with a is equal to nine. 29, we have negative seven plus m is equal to eight. We're going to add seven since subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. That'll leave us with zero plus m, which is m, and eight plus seven is 15. So m is equal to 15. And the last problem on this worksheet, number 30, 18 plus m equals eight. We're going to subtract 18 from both sides, and that's going to leave us with m on the left-hand side and a negative 10 on the right. So m is equal to negative 10. Go ahead and click the thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to go through my tutorials if you need more information on solving one-step equations. Also, if you have any specific problem or questions, please feel free to comment below.